Well, today is Saturday. It's November, probably third or fourth or fifth or something. Um, and 2022. And I wanted to make a video just about women's bodies and body size. Men don't want a woman whose body size is bigger than their body size. That's a generalization. There's going to be your weirdos that do. And, you know, they'll have a reason for it. But high 90 percentile of men want a woman whose body size is less than theirs. Maybe maybe 40% of them, maybe 40 to 50% of them would be equal to less than or equal to. Um, you could almost break it down into 45% and 45%. 45% want a woman whose body size is purely less than their body size. And then the other 45% of men are equal or open to having a woman whose body size is equal to or lesser than their own body size. Now, where does a woman's body size come from? Well, it's determined by her parents' body size. So if two big fat, big bone people have sex, they're destining their child to be a fat, big bone child, which is destining that child, if it's a female, to have to have and find a mate who it's 85 to 90% probability that the, that woman will have to find a male partner whose body size is equal to or greater than her own. That statistic, that understanding should be a huge sobering factor as far as uh, mate selection and partnering and mating goes with people because they're literally destining their children to a specific shade or spectrum of partners and it's, it's sad because there's so many women who are big and they're very distraught with their size and with how mate selection is working out for them. And uh, they're kind of screwed. They're kind of destined for that because um, their family and the way genetic propensity works destined them. Let me see if I can get through here without hitting a tree. Yes, I can. Nice. So I see a parking spot I want to go get. Um, and I just, it is sad. It's a little bit heartbreaking. It is an engineering problem. And the solution comes from superior observation, which creates superior data which creates superior response and uh, without superior observation and superior data you can't make a superior response 